Moving on with the quadratics chapter, we're going to do a word problem in this video. So a soccer ball is kicked and modeled by h is equal to negative 2t squared plus 10t. So h is the height of the soccer ball. Let's say it's in meters. And then t is the time after which the ball is kicked. So let's say that's in seconds. Number one, how long will the ball be in the air? Number two, what max height will the ball reach and when? And number three, what is the domain and range for this scenario? Okay, so we have H, let's rewrite it here, is negative 2T squared plus 10T. First thing you wanna do with these types of questions is graph the quadratic. And notice in this case, it's very easy to factor this because there's no c value you can just take out a negative 2t from both so you'd be left with t minus 5 negative 2t squared divided by negative 2t is just t 10t divided by negative 2t gives us minus 5 and then from here it's easy to tell what the intercepts are right so here we would have t is equal to 0 and here t is equal to 5 now, this factored smoothly, you're not always going to get an equation that factors smoothly. Sometimes to get these intercepts, you're going to have to plug it into maybe the quadratic formula, right? Because they might be decimals. In this case, it's pretty smooth. There's no C value, so you could always take out at least a T. And then in this case, we could take out a negative 2 as well. Okay, so from here, we can uh, draw a graph. So intercept is 0, which is here at the origin, and then the other intercept is 5. So this soccer ball is kicked from here and lands on the ground at 5 seconds. So from here, we can already answer a bunch of questions. So number one, how long will the ball be in the air? Well, from zero seconds to five seconds. That's when it's gonna hit the ground. So five seconds is the answer for number one. Number two, what max height will the ball reach and when? The max height is gonna be here. So basically what they're asking for, when they're asking for the max height is the Y value of the vertex. And then when they ask when, because this axis is time, they're asking for that independent variable, the t value for the vertex. So this value will give us when, this value will give us the actual height. I should have actually drew these titles beforehand. Um, so notice that we could figure out when it's going to happen because it's going to be the midpoint between the intercepts. So 0 plus 5 divided by 2 gives us 2.5. So at two and a half seconds, the soccer ball is going to reach a max height. Now, what's the actual max height going to be? Well, what we can do is we could take two and a half and plug it into the equation. So we'd have negative two times 2.5 squared plus 10 times 2.5. Okay, so this would give us 2.5 squared is 2.5 times 2.5, which is uh, 6.25. Then 6.25 times negative 12 gives us negative uh, 12.5. Then 10 times 2.5, that gives us 25. And from here, we would just get 12.5. Negative 12.5 plus 25 gives us positive 12.5. So that is here. That's the vertex right there. So we easily found the independent variable for the vertex and then we could plug that into the equation to get the dependent variable to get the height. So what max height will the ball reach and when? Answer for this is 12.5 meters at 2.5 seconds. And then finally, number three, what is the domain and range for this scenario? Now, usually when there's a word problem, the domain and range for the parabola that models the word problem is going to be different than if just the parabola was by itself, because there's limits. Notice how there's limits on the domain here. 
versus with just a regular parabola with no scenario attached to it, there's no limits on the domain. So here, domain is, time can be anything, but it has to be between zero and five. Right, that's when the ball is, uh, its height is modeled. So it's only happening for that. Then what's the range? Well, the range, the height can be anything, but it can only be between zero, right, when it starts off or when it hits the ground, to its max height of 12.5. So when you get a question like this and they ask for the domain and range, remember both the domain and the range, they usually have limits on both the lower end, so zero for both of these, and the higher end. Five seconds for the time, 12.5 meters for the height. But if this was just a regular parabola, then the domain would just be TER, right? Because, or XER rather, this would just keep going down and then um, the y value would be negative as well. So you wouldn't have this lower limit. You just have y is less than or equal to 12.5. But again, it's a word problem. So there are limits on the domain and range.